be done at a certain time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kim. How are uh -huh. you? <laughs> Everybody, I want to introduce you to Kim Maelstrom. Did I say that correctly? You did. Yeah. I am so known for messing up people's names and I did not want to mess up your name because, uh, you know, you're a fabulous person and fabulous people. You just don't mess their name up. So, Kim, you are the first business person in the group that is kicking off. Yay! Yeah. That is kicking off our chat and chew series. So I just want to explain a little bit about the chat and chew to everybody. Let them know what's going on with that. So what I decided is because, you know, you hear so many stories about what's negative, uh, you know, the bad things of the world and different things like that. So I wanted to create positivity because that's what I do. So I was like, well, what can I do in the group to help the ladies to one, uh, let them know that they still can do their business and two, let them know in a time like this that they can win. In doing their business because people are still uh doing their business people are doing well in their business but they're making connections i know myself personally i have gained so many connections and i have made uh you know i will be doing collaborations with some of the people that i've met and um so i got this idea and i was like well i want to know what people are doing and how they're doing it and the techniques that they're using to do it to win so, uh, of course, I put out today, what is it that you guys are doing? And your response was that your business, like, what, 100% or something with sales? And I'm like, that's incredible, especially doing COVID. Now, was this happening before COVID or is this happening after COVID? We're going to find all this out. And I'm so excited. So, everyone, I want to introduce you to Kim. So, Kim, tell us a little bit about your business and let's get chatting. Thank you so much for this awesome introduction. And I'm so excited to be here. Um, it has been a crazy few months for everyone. Yes. So a little bit about me. I am a mom of four. I um, have children ranging from 17 to 26. So I have one who lives in Conshohocken and she's sheltering in place. Uh, her business with PayPal, they are working from home. I have twins who have come home from college. So that's been an experience in itself. Kind wow. of that silver lining of COVID is being able to spend extra time with them. And I have a 17 year old who, um, you know, had a hard spring with, she's a national level swimmer, um, had a lot of big meets canceled that we were supposed to be traveling to. So, um, you know, it's been, been a crazy time, but I think what's amazing is, you know, how much growth we've seen over this time as well. So a little bit about me, I kind of have two hats or three hats, multiple hats. Yeah. I, um, I, I'm a mom of four crazy people and a new puppy during COVID. Who knew um, that it would be a blessing in disguise? But I run a nonprofit called Kyle's Quillows. Uh, we started eight years ago. My son, one of the twins, um, had a virus. Everybody says, you know, viruses are no big deal, right? Um, that his autoimmune system um, went crazy and wiped out his bone marrow. And he was diagnosed with aplastic anemia. His twin brother, Andrew, was his bone marrow donor. So we were very blessed to have two matches within our family. Okay. And um, eight years later, he's doing amazing. So much hope. He runs for his college. He's just finished up his sophomore year in college at Rochester Institute of Technology. His brother's at Penn State, all as well. But during that time, um, we found that all the people who shared stories of hope with us kind of helped us get through. And because Kyle's done so well, we started the nonprofit called Kyle's Quillos. So we make fleece blankets uh, that have a pocket and they are shipped worldwide to children with aplastic anemia, mm -hmm. cancer, Lyme's disease, bad car accidents, any life-threatening, life-altering event. Um, and we also deliver to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So um, yeah, that, we're that's delivering amazing. To, so it has has a life of its own. Um, we've probably delivered over 8,000 quillos. We delivered in 12 wow. departments at Children's Hospital. 
Uh, things got a little slower during COVID because at the start of COVID, we also got a call from our local hospital and said, we know you have sewing machines. Can you help us? We can't get masks in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, would you be able to sew masks? And if anyone knows me, we got a crash course in sewing when we started Kyle's Quillows. I didn't sew before. Mm -hmm. I now have 12 sewing machines, embroidery machines. Everyone gets their name on it that we're shipping out for our special requests. Yeah. Um, but I just do squares and rectangles. So I'm like, well, a mask <laughs> is a rectangle. I should be able to handle it. So we made a couple and they were so pleased with it. They said, okay, can you give us 500? I was like, wow. Okay. Not sure about that, but okay. So I reached out to the community because it's all about, you know, a village lifting us up. Right. And I said, I, I could use some help with a sewing project. And there was probably about 25, 30 women who said, I can help you. And um, we have donated probably over 3000 uh, masks to the hospital, to medical oh. communities around us. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's my one hat. Um, so we, we're, we're trying to catch up on Kyle's Quillows because we have, obviously, kids still get sick with all right. different reasons. And we like to give them some strength, hope, and comfort. Uh, but what I've also found over the last eight years is, you know, giving the parents hope as well and strength. Because I don't know about you, when we get busy, we put ourselves on the back burner. Somebody right. gets sick, we're always pouring into other people. Exactly. Well, yeah, in 2017, I think 2016, my husband was downsized from his job. Mm -hmm. um, and he was in the, he's in the pharmaceutical industry. There's a lot of you know movement there. And he had made it through some uh, downsizing and then was let go. So I run a nonprofit. We had four children. Two were going off to college. I was like, I don't want to go back to teaching. I don't want to miss anything. Right. Um, so I had reached out to a friend who had a health and wellness business. And I said to her, okay, I've seen you have amazing results. You all look great. Mm -hmm. But I also see that you're building a business. And right. I need something I can do from home that I can still focus on Kyle's Quillows and help people and give them hope, but something that can help support us financially. So she's like, all right, give me a call. So that started our health and wellness journey. Um, we reached out and started for the business opportunity and fell into this amazing nutrition. And so that's kind of where my business has really exploded mm -hmm. over the last few months. Um, it's amazing how many people, and some of you may be feeling the same way, but mm -hmm. how many people are at home um, stress eating under a yes. lot of stress? They, yes. they may, you know, be stressed because they're on Zooms with all their children and running a business on the side mm -hmm. or, you know, so many of us as entrepreneurs, you're wearing different hats right. and juggling different things in your life. Um, so a lot of people are looking to feel better. Mm -hmm. um, they're looking to strengthen their immune system, but they're also looking for ways to build a residual income. People right. lost jobs. Um, so many different people who own small businesses, whether it be a salon or, you know, I, you know, brows and massage therapists, people who own right. restaurants. It's, you know, that line of residual income has, you know, been an important thing for people, but really people just want to feel better. So I love that my two businesses have kind of overlapped in that they both give hope. Uh, there is hope. I was told for years, you're tired because you have twins. You have four kids. You're always on the go. Not knowing that it was how what I was fueling my body with was not, you know, giving me everything I needed. So, right. so it's been fun um, over the last couple months showing people that, A, they can feel better, but that they can choose and switch their grocery money mm -hmm. into an income producing activity um, has been, you know, I think the most fun. Um, mm -hmm. And I think because people start to feel better, they start to share with their friends and family. And, you know, it's just seen explosive growth. But I think it really started with finding out what people need, what they right. need. like, what are their pain points? Um, you know, one person might need energy. Mm -hmm. One person may just say, I'm, I'm tired of eating. I just stopped eating. I'm not nourishing right. my body. Right. Um, and other people said, I, I gained the COVID-19 or 20, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so I think, you know, overall, um, as to where I've seen the most explosive growth is really 
helping others, you know, share their experience and lead and share that hope around. Yeah. That makes you know, I, um, well, first of all, let me just go back a little bit. You and I met, uh, first time we met was at Melissa's event mm -hmm. in King of Pressure. And I think the day that I met you, uh, it's so funny because when I come into a room, I survey the room. Okay. I see who's there. It's just the, the nature that I am coming from a medical background too. I guess that, you know, mm -hmm. so I came in the room and I, I surveyed the room and I just picked out like different things that I liked about different people. And if I remember correctly, I think you had on a pair of, I think it was orange suede shoes. No, oh, I probably did. Yep. <laughs> yes. And it was so cute because, you know, they stood out. It, they just stood out. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. And then you and I connected and then we started talking. And then um, I think when you and I connected, I think I was going away. Maybe I was going out to the shore you again. You were probably going to the shore again. Exactly. And <laughs> you and I you just came back to the shore. There <laughs> seems to be a pattern there. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. It's, you, you know, I tell people it's important, especially as entrepreneurs and you have a busy life. I don't have children. I have a fur baby, but especially women entrepreneurs, we have to remind ourselves to take time for ourselves. It's so important because if we're not right, we can't take care of our families. So um, my husband, he's fortunate to work from home now. Um, I'm working from home and you can still get stressed out. So it, it, it was fortunate that the both of us was able to take the time off and going down there and just chilling and not doing anything and resting our mind. It gives you that opportunity to refuel. And, and just sit down and, and create the goal again. I'm always, especially with PWNC, with you ladies, I'm always trying to figure out ways of how I can bring better content, how I can bring better things like this, um, things that are quality that if I was in this group, what I would want to see. But uh, what I liked about uh, one of the things you were doing that you mentioned, because I come from a healthcare background, is all the masks you were doing and the friends that you had helping you do it. Um, every time I was turning around, you were like shipping out bags of masks. Yes. And I, I still like, have, I have a bag it? right now that should be going tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And where will you be shipping that to? Uh, so we originally were contacted by Pottstown um, Hospital. So okay. they, they are currently still using, you know, their one N95 mask for the week in right. their brown bag. They right. are starting to get more masks. Um, they still are having trouble uh, sourcing their um, gowns and he head coverings and things, but this is helping them because they still are allowed some visitors, mm -hmm. some people visiting um, for end of life that are non-COVID, people who are visiting uh, maternity, um, they're allowed one visitor, they're also getting a mask so that then they have them when they are out in the community as well. And then we've had you know, a lot of visiting nurses and mm -hmm. um, different people who have reached out that needed some smaller quantities. Mm -hmm. It started to slow down a little bit, so that's a bonus. Yes, it is. Uh, but I think really, you know, for whatever we're doing and whatever business, you know, it takes a village, it, you know, especially to lift each other up, being right. stuck at home, looking at those same four walls, having everybody working from home takes a stress on people. So yeah. I try to find ways that we can give back and, you know, give value. And it could even be a birthday message. Mm -hmm. So many people are so busy. So, so, you know, if you're looking for things that you can do within your business, so many of you have Facebook communities and we get those notification that somebody's birthday. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times two people are too busy and they put an HBD on somebody's wall and that's it. But if you right. live, leave them like a voice message and just mm -hmm. say, Hey, I'm thinking about you today. For right. Your amazing day. Happy birthday. And, you know, I hope you have the very best year that, you know, with all the craziness going on, that you find some silver linings. And, you know, I'm just wishing you the happiest, healthiest, most abundant year moving forward. It leaves me happy. <laughs> That's right. And I'm hoping that then that recipient, you know, feels that love as well, because mm -hmm. we do get isolated. We're not, you know, I would give anything to go back uh, to Melissa's events and be like, you know, able to give people a big hug because that's right. just who I am. Right. So, you know, that's one way I found that like connecting with people is, 
leaving, you know, a message or if I see an amazing post, you know, you'll probably get a voice message from me that I loved your post. And it's just making those connections and you know, which we were doing with like coffee talks and everything else, uh, right. but, you know, but really kind of sharing something individual with someone. Yeah, and that's what I like too. Uh, you, you're, and that stand, that makes you stand out as well. Like when we first started connecting, you were sending video, uh, not video, yeah. but like voice messages. Yeah, and I was like, this is so cool. It makes it personable. Um, I, I like that, it, and it almost like gives you a connection, and it's just more personable than a text because in a text you you can't see a, a person's tone you don't know exactly what it is i mean the millennials they love it they text i'm old fashioned i'm from the old school pick up the phone and call me i like voice you know talking to somebody on the other end and different things like that i know sometimes i find myself i'll be texting people and i'm like listen enough with the texting pick up the phone and call me or i'm going to call you you know so i, I think I'll that's how we actually chatted more was we uh chatted on the phone which was perfect exactly because people need that personal experience you know it's so much different than just getting a text of what you're looking for and i you know and i think the biggest thing is really listening like taking time to listen and hear what people need mm -hmm. uh, is an important thing no matter what business you're in that's correct now i want to get into the meat and potatoes okay what are you doing in your business to increase your sales to increase your marketing to um what is it that you're doing you asked that this morning i'm like what are we doing we kind of have systems in place i think really consistency consistency right being consistent with your posts if you'll notice like on my page i am not posting consistently about either one of my businesses Mm -hmm. But if you try to share some value and, you know, interact with people, I think is important. And I consistently share how my products are helping me. It's not a, here's my product. Ask me now, buy me now. Here it is. Right. It's what is it doing for me? You know, and I think, you know, for me, people could tell like she didn't have this energy before, you know how are you getting that energy? Like, so kind of sharing a, like a, a spotlight into my life, I think mm -hmm. is important. Um, just, you know, no matter what you're doing, whether you're insurance or banking or whatever, like sharing some part of you because you opening up about, you know, your beach experience and your husband work, you know, like getting to know that person, I think is so important. So, mm -hmm. and we, we are running a big June boom um, coming up. And, you know, I have been sharing that because people love community. They love doing things together, having that accountability. So I think really plugging people into a community mm -hmm. um, with extra support and everything has been a huge help. Um, I think a lot of uh, our business growth that we're seeing is developing, you know, leaders to duplicate. Right. And be able to do the same um, because I don't for any people that are in, you know, my business, I don't want them saying, here we go. I have a new pair of glasses. You know, right. like, I want them to really be sharing, you know, so, so right. you're going to see um, my puppy and our puppy experience. Um, we, we lost our, our dog in January, so Aww. we replaced Sonny, who not replaced him, but we, you know, brought a new fur baby into the house in February. And, you know, I, I keep looking at all these silver linings that are happening. So I think sharing the silver linings in your life, because as you said, Facebook can be such a drain. The, the politics and all these crazy things, um, you know, can be very draining. So I think being able to see those highlights knowing that my three kids would not, you know, that are here would not have spent that time together that right. they've been able to spend, um, you know, with two in college and internships and co-ops and, you know, having them be able to spend that time is, you know, and now also raising the puppy and everything else, it's, it's brought life and excitement into the house. Mm -hmm. um, they've built a giant garden, uh, you know, like, so we, we found all kinds of new uh, silver linings, uh, I shared that I cut my own hair and my kids. <laughs> it looks good. You know, it's so funny because I know when I got to put my glasses on because I can't see without my glasses. I took them off because I didn't want the glare from the um, 
the ring light. But it's funny you say that because I was looking at my roots and I was like, oh God, no, I have to do something with this. So I, I, I did my hair today, as you can see. It, it looks so, awesome. Thank you. I did it. I did my roots and I'm like, oh God, thank you. No, my my sparkly personality is still shining through. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was doing, you know, so I, you were asking some other, so like going live in your right. page is huge. Right. And it could be about the garden and the fact that I pulled these giant radishes out, you know, like it, just sharing something of you to get people to know you, I think is so important, right. um, you know, because then people you're adding value to people. And I think yeah. if you can add value and help with something, you know, is amazing. And then on days like today, I'm looking at my family room. We have a new couch coming in June. And I was like, OK, it hasn't been painted or anything in like 18 years help mm -hmm. and people then <laughs> want to give back to me so i'm right. so excited to go through all those suggestions of what colors i should paint my family room or do different things so mm. i think you know for everyone in business like taking time to make it personal yes. listening to people um yes. you know i think it's explode uh, you know our business is exploding because four days in People are feeling so much better and it's all about nourishing your body and not depriving your body and, and really just fueling it the right way. Right. Um, you know, they start to feel better. So that lights me up inside. Mm -hmm. And then when they share with some people and they get paid and I can see them, you know, giving me a number out of the sky that they don't think they're ever going to hit. Mm -hmm. And they, they hit that in a week and they're like, I that was my pipe dream. You know, I'm like, all right, let's dream bigger. Yeah. So I really think, you know, like just helping others and lifting them up and leaving others better than they found them. So no matter what your business is, you know, that I think is the most important part. Yeah. You know, it's funny that you said that because I can totally relate to that. And for, there are some people in the group that are friends with me on my private uh, Facebook page. And I try not to put politics in the group, religion in the group, things that are controversial because to me, they do not belong in a group. Um, now, what I put on my Facebook page, okay, that's up for game. But again, as a leader, as a person that owns a business, you, you have to still be careful what you put on your personal Facebook page. And what I try to do is I try to let people see the human side of me. Yes, Felicia goes to the beach. Yes, you know, Felicia has a bad day. You know, she's talking about, it, or she put a post, something must be going on. And wow, what's going on? You know, I want them to see that I'm human. And, and I'm not just Felicia PWNC and I didn't wake up yesterday and have this organization of fabulous women and the business that I do, you know, you work hard to get to where you are. You've and, built it to, yeah. you know, what are you almost 900 people here, which is I so know. amazing. Isn't that amazing? And, and I love, I was, I was kind of trolling some people today and seeing what are your businesses? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think, you know, being, you know, just getting a glimpse into what people's lives are like is amazing. Right. Yeah, it is amazing. And that's what I like to, and that's why I always encourage the women. I'm like, listen, you have almost 900 women in this group, which means 900 opportunities for your business. You know, each day go into the group, see who's in the group. I mean, I don't even know everybody that's in the group. And we have some phenomenal people in the group that has their own little thing that they can offer which I think is, is just amazing. But um, one thing that you said, and I am a firm believer in, is follow-up. Yes. Follow-up will make or break a business. So tell us a little bit about your take on follow-up and how you feel about that. I think, um, you know, follow-up is key to mm -hmm. every business. And, you know, most people do not follow up. It is a very small percentage that will follow up. They think that because you didn't answer that first time that you're not interested. Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily true. It just could be you, me, we could be busy with something and then completely forget that that message came in. Right. That I think that follow up and not, did you see my glasses? Did you see, did you buy, did you want to buy them? But mm -hmm. checking in and saying, hey, I saw your post and you just got those amazing yellow shoes. Mm -hmm. I love them. Where did you get them? How are you doing with all this? I think really following up and seeing how people are feeling, how are they managing this? So 
some of my conversations have nothing to do with my health and wellness business. They have nothing to do with Kyle's pulls. It just might be checking in on how they are doing, how they're feeling, because mm -hmm. it's hard, you know, even without all the COVID people are busy. Um, and it, even if, I, you know, you could have messaged me and I could say, absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. But if you didn't follow up and say, hey, here's the message, this is what time, mm -hmm. you know, it can slip your mind. So I think people are always worried that maybe they didn't want it, right. you know, and it's okay. So I think really being organized and being able to, some people, they might need to have that chat five, six, 10 times. That's right. And, you know. People who joined my business in the last like couple of months, some of them I talked to three years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we've kept in contact as friends and chatted about things. And they're like, I am finally ready. And, yeah. you know, and and it has to be when someone else is ready. So and I agree with you, not to cut you off. I'm sorry, Kim, not to cut you off. I agree with you because when I was in network marketing, which I think is one of the hardest businesses to be in out there. When I was in network marketing, I had one person watch me in my business, do my business for two years before they decided that they wanted to join and be a part of my team. My question to them was, why now? And what took you so long? Okay. The why now was because I finally have the money. What took you so long was because I wanted to see the consistency. I wanted to see you continuously do what it is that you say you were going to do. I didn't want to see you start your business. You might post about it uh, three times a week, then maybe one time Then I don't see you anymore. They wanted to see the consistency. And I think that is the biggest thing in any business and not being afraid of hearing the word no. Oh, I look at it. Every no is your pathway to the best yes ever. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it, talking about that, like I watched my girlfriend for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. We connected through Kyle's Pillows. Her company actually had made a donation to Kyle's Pillows. Mm -hmm. We became friends when she delivered the check. <laughs> so I kind of <laughs> knew her before. Right. You know, and, you know, and what, she had grabbed five friends and they had amazing transformations. But I watched because I was like, you see so many roller coasters, so yeah. many and so many people depriving themselves and about mm -hmm. back and forth and trying a million different things. And I noticed like, wait, they all they're looking better. Their skin's clear. You know, they're maintaining their results. And I watched them build the business. Yeah. You know, so that five people turned into 30,000 people. And, wow. you know, and so for me, we started three years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, it started with my husband and I. Mm -hmm. And four days in, I had so much energy, my sisters jumped in and then my parents jumped in and, you know, my nieces and nephews were using the nutrition and my athletes and my family were, but it snowballed that we now have almost 2,500 people that I make residual wow. income off of. Really? 2,500? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, over, so, over three years? Over That's three amazing. Years. That's amazing. And, and so, you know, and right now it's just so exciting because I have a whole new group of people and they're laughing at me. They'll be, if they were on here, they'd be like, you know, Kim's learning new things. But um, it's a huge Hispanic community. And, okay. you know, all our message threads are in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Google Translator has become my friend. So, <laughs> you know, I can't translate. I'm going to need headphones that can translate the voice. But right. I've been able to help them make those connections for the leaders who do speak in Spanish. Mm -hmm. But I can easily type out, you know, a cheerleading response or information response and have Google translate it. And I can copy and paste. And mm -hmm. they're like, whoa, Kim just spoke in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but. You know, like, but it's been exciting because so many of them have businesses right now that have been hurt by COVID oh, and, sure. you know, at, that have, you know, whether they're a small restaurant or a salon or, you know, that maybe their nail business, but seeing their excitement, enthusiasm and mm -hmm. helping them get paid to pay their bills has been so much fun. It's not about me anymore. And right. I think that's, with with your your follow up and with your consistency, you need to not have it. It's not about you, right? It's, it's about what you have to offer. So no matter what your business is, mm -hmm. being able to find value that you can share with others, I think, is you know huge. Mm -hmm. And it may take you reaching out that five, ten times. And I know, 
Uh, you know, there are people I've talked to here that I am interested in what their businesses are offering. It's just that life got in the way and I need to circle back and follow up with their follow up. So, right, you know, right. that and not, you know, not giving up. So I think really, you know, I what I I train my people is look at your Facebook, mm -hmm. make three new connections a day, new people adding into your Facebook, new connections, then follow up with three people. Mm -hmm. and add value to three people, mm -hmm. you know, like, so, you know, like take a look, if you can do that three, 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 that those, that number multiplies over a month, over a year. Think of how many people you are adding into your network because on days like the masks, I've probably only made 20 masks. Mm. I cut out probably 3000 of them. You know? yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> But being able to reach out to people and say, hey, I need help. Right. Who's out there that could do this? Like, right. it takes a village. So even in your business, um, you know, people reach out to me all the time. You know, how can you help? Can you, do you know anyone looking for this? Mm -hmm. um, you know, those referrals, asking for referrals, mm -hmm. too, as you're following up is a huge part of any business. Right. You know what? So, and I'm, I'm glad that you said that. It is not about you. And that's why I wanted to do this series. It's easy for me to get into my group and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is the success I'm having. And people may relate and they may not. OK, well, Felicia, we know you're successful because this is your group. We see what you're doing. But it's not about me. It's about you guys. It's about the women in the group. Um, being able to relate to you, to listen to a story like yours and say, you know what? Wow, Kim has a family. She has a new puppy. She has this going on, getting on. But now she has, you know, she's been doing her business for three years. And now she has, what, 2,500, you said, yeah. people yeah. in her organization that you're getting a residual income from. That's amazing. So that's, that's the huge part. Because I can be crazy busy. Like when we were doing masks and we were in the heart of it and the hospital needed them every day, mm -hmm. um, you know, there was cutting and, getting supplies and putting out packages for people to pick up and they were dropping off finished ones that needed to be washed. Mm -hmm. There were times a whole week would go by and I didn't even look at my health and wellness business. I stayed consistent. I was yes. posting, yes. Um, but I never touched it, but I was still paid. Yes. Um, and I think that's, you know, I think you need to be able to leverage your business mm -hmm. for those bumps in life. So, you know, what's crazy looking back, you know, we just talked to the regional sales manager that had my leaders on a call last week. And he said the, the amount of growth that this, you know, is, they're seeing is, you know, unprecedented. And he's like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's, you know, and it's really that consistency, the follow up, the, you know, pouring into people, um, you know, at which people can do with any business that they're doing. That's wonderful. So, Kim, we're going to be wrapping up. I want to thank you, first of all, for kicking off our series, being our first entrepreneur. Thank um, you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. I congratulate you and what it is that you're doing. Thank you. Like I said, I come from a medical background. Thank you for what you're doing for the frontliners, for everybody uh, helping to keep them safe. Um, you know, I believe the jewels that you dropped today, they can be applied in anyone's business, mm -hmm. anyone's business. Absolutely. Continue to grow, continue to prosper. Let everybody know how they can get in contact with you. And if you have a website, provide that for us. Okay, perfect. And I'll comment under this in the live yes. post too. Yes. Um, I Facebook Messenger has been my friend. <laughs> Instagram <laughs> Messenger. Um, you could email me. It, I may not always get to it that day, mm -hmm. uh, but definitely message me. Um, you know, ask me questions. I'd love to get to know more of you. Mm -hmm. um, I know I've met some of you with different connections in the local area, but you know, it's fun to get to know people and see what you're doing, especially in this crazy time. Yes, absolutely. Okay, guys, so you heard it here. Uh, like I said, this is the first kickoff, the first night of our series. We're going to be going straight through until next Wednesday. I have some phenomenal business owners lined up. You guys are going to be getting nuggets all week long. So make sure you go into the group, connect. Like Kim said, even if you do three or four a day, just connect, see who's in the group. There's some phenomenal people in here. So Kim, stay safe. I will be talking to you. Thank you again. Thank and you. You're welcome. And if you guys are watching this live, great. If it's on replay, when you go and put in your comments, please type in replay. So everyone have a good night and stay safe. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for having me.
You're welcome. <laughs>